Hi again, my name is Rebel and I'm the Rebel Reseller and today I'm going to be doing my what sold for last week, Monday through Thursday, which was October 3rd through the 6th. Fourth quarter has started for me. I hope it is for a lot of you. Now I'm still having the ebbs and flows, but I'm having more ups definitely than I am having down days, you know, but when they're down, they're down. But I, I'm, I'm happy so far how this month is going. I'm still not, I, I still have so much to get listed. So that's going to be my goal for this weekend. Robert and I did go out this morning. Y'all, you can't see it all, but we just did a haul video last night to get everything finally out of the, our car. Because we just leave it there because I have nowhere to put it and dag on it if we didn't fill it up again today. Again, blessings, always blessings, but it's still, I don't think our yard sale season is going to last very much longer, and it was 48 degrees this morning when we left, but then it turned into like 60s, so it, it turned out to be a really nice day, but you know, I had a list of about maybe seven or eight places that we wanted to go to, and we probably stopped at double that even maybe a little bit more. There were so many people who just, I guess, had yard sales and didn't advertise in the paper and didn't post on some of the Facebook groups that I follow. So it was good. It was a good day. No great big treasures, but you know, when you're paying a dollar for something and, and it's going to sell for $15, $20, I'll do that all day long. All right, so I've got quite a bit to share with you. Now again, it's mostly eBay. I just can't seem to figure out the other platforms. I do okay, but nowhere near what I anticipated when I started this cross-listing journey like two years ago. I think it's about two years since I started. Um, and they're just, they're not where I expect them to be. But eBay, eBay's gonna always be my first love anyway. First thing, I'm going to go ahead and start with Posh and then Mercari. I didn't have any sales on Etsy, and I'm not doing Facebook and Bonanza anymore, so it'll just be down to these three. Maybe next year I'll figure out, maybe I'll test another platform, but right now, I, I think my best effort is going to be getting more stuff just listed. Get it listed on eBay. So couple of sales from Poshmark. This was a Columbia men's fleece jacket. Um, I think I got sent an offer and I went ahead and accepted $15 for that item. I ain't even going to try. Men's dress shirt. It was from Hong Kong, so vintage. It sold for $12 on P Poshmark. Clark's shoes. I've mentioned this before. Almost everything that's clothing and most of my shoes are cross-listed to Poshmark. It's the only other platform I have done that with so far. Um, so most of my sales are going to be clothing on Poshmark. I am moving into other stuff, but I don't have as many as I do with the clothes. These were some Clark's Torrig men's shoes. We usually only pay like $3 or less on shoes. These sold for $24. And then Wrangler jeans. We find lots of Wrangler jeans. Sold for $18 on Poshmark. A couple of sales on Mercari. This is a Starbucks Barista plush ornament. They have a whole series of bears that they release every year. Um, but they also do some of the smaller tree ornaments. This one was from 2019. It sold for $5 on Mercari. Thai Beanie Baby. They sell. They might take a while. This one was Mystic the White Unicorn. It sold for $12 on Mercari. And then this Animal Adventure Hippo Plush. I kept going back and forth. The thing around its head, I thought maybe it was a lion, but Google Lens told me it was a hippo, so I went with hippo. Um, sold for $17 on Mercari. Now eBay. Lots on eBay. Um, and I try to pick a variety of things. Just, you know, from my bread and butters, 
up into some of my higher dollar stuff. This was a Gund Jira Kangaroo Plush. I think this is actually the baby that goes inside of a larger one. Um, this sold for $10. It did not, somebody had cut off its um, gun tags, but Google Lens had told me, and then I always go look at other people's listings to make sure that it actually does look like what Google Lens is telling me it is. It sold for $10 for a tiny little five inch plush. Fluffyville, I do not find that brand very often. I have, I think most of them have been rabbits, I think that I've picked up. Um, this is a 12-inch rabbit. It sold for $12.55. This is Elmo. I pick up all things Sesame Street. I picked up another one today. I just love them. Especially the older Hasbro Fisher-Price ones. Um, this is an 8-inch plush from 2013. Sold for $9.15. I mention this quite often. Most of the stuff that I sell, I have picked up on sourcing trips to Goodwill bins, but we also um, are always out thrift stores, yard sales, estate sales. I just pick up anything that I think is that you know is inexpensive and that I can flip for a profit. I'm all about the bread and butters. Yeah, I like to sell the big stuff, but I sell a lot. In like the eight to twelve dollar range. This is a Russ Clown doll, six inch. It sold for nine dollars and fifteen cents. This is I just picked this up at a haul, uh, at a yard sale that we showed in a haul recently. It was one of the first ones that we've done a whole one on just one yard sale. The ornaments I think there were. I picked up two. I think they were two dollars each. I think could have been three um, but this was an Obi-Wan Kenobi from 2000 it sold for twelve dollars and twenty five cents very quickly Fiesta it's an okay brand but they do have cute stuff they do do a lot of um, characters so I, I, I picked them up I won't pay a whole lot for them this one sold for eight dollars Good stuff. This is a USA, America, Stars and Stripes, all those keywords. Plush. Not sure where I picked this up from. You know, like I said, I pick up thousands of items every year to list. Some of them I can remember, but if it's like when we've been at the bins and I'm just grabbing, grabbing, grabbing and not really paying attention to everything that I'm buying, um, I can't remember. But it's all for $10. This I picked up um, at an estate sale. Usually a lot of the ornaments I pick up are at the estate sales that I like to go to. Usually they're a dollar regularly and then on half price days I get them for 50 cents. So I try to go to a lot of these on the half price day and pick up a lot of the Christmas ornaments. Um, this little Santa Claus was strumming on his guitar. It sold for $12. Gund. Baby Gun Toodles, the Hippo. It's just one of those teeny tiny rattle plush. I pick up a lot of baby toys um, because, you know, a child becomes attached to it and then they lose it. And I have lots of messages from mamas wanting me to get stuff shipped out to them. This sold for $11.91. Secret Life of Pets. This is Snowball the Rabbit. It is a Toy Factory brand. Again, it's not a very good quality, but they put out a whole lot of characters. So I picked them up. They don't normally sell for a whole lot. This one sold for $9.15. Little Me White Bear Rattle Plush says, Thank heaven for, for little boys across the front. They're 12 inch. It sold for $22.95. It did have a little bit of a stain, so I did put that in the comments. This is the time of year to be getting your Christmas stuff. I list Christmas stuff. I list all seasonal stuff all year long whenever I get it. Um, this was just a little um, ornament sold for $8. 
A lot of times with these ornaments, if I don't have a box, I do put that in my description so that they're not expecting a box. We picked this up, I believe, on the Highway 127 sale, but I'm not sure. Robert could have picked this up at a yard sale. It had lots of issues, but it was Davy Allison, NASCAR driver. I'm guessing NASCAR driver. Okay, maybe a NASCAR driver. Um, I listed it pretty high, and I think I sold it within a day. I got a $23 offer, and I thought, oh, yeah. Who knows? Maybe it should have been sold for 100 bucks. I don't know. But when you take probably a quarter and move, turn it into $23, I'm good with that. Plain, no tag. Don't know who the manufacturer is, but it was vintage, and I listed it. And it sold for $12, best offer. I, I have to save the vintage stuff because somebody is going to be looking for, you know, a toy from their past, and I'll, I'll have it. I, I follow a lot of the groups where it's the Lost Loveys, Lost Plush groups. Yes, there are people who go on there and they're looking for the little snoozums or the Eden Terry Cloth plush that sell for hundreds or the jammy pies that sell for hundreds. But a lot of times it is a plush that they've picked up at Walmart or Kmart or any other big box store. Just a normal brand. Could have been a, a vintage Dollar General because I have seen them, you know. You just don't know. That's the ones they're looking for, for the most part. It's not the ones that everybody knows is a grail. It's things that most of us wouldn't even consider picking up. But I've learned, and I try to pick up as many as I can. Boyd's Bear. This was Gulia, 6-inch, cute little bear with the ghost costume. Sold for $18.35. This was hamster plush, says epic across the hoodie. Again, I don't even know if it had a, oh, I can't see it right there. I didn't even put a manufacturer in there. Oh, Sure Shot Redemption. You know what that is, right? That's a claw machine, more than likely. So for $8. Now, I picked up three sets of these Enchanted Forest ornaments. They're glass ornaments. These had little, like, tropical fish inside of them. Um, this wasn't listed but a couple of days, and I got a $10 best offer, and I just went ahead and grabbed it. I think I paid $0.50 cents or a dollar for them. I had quite a few multi-quantity sales. Um, this one... You can tell had a theme to it. They bought several of the Minions lots from my store. Sent me some Beth's offers that I thought were very reasonable. Ended up spending $40 on five items. Um, and then I did a combined shipping invoice for them. So, love the multi quantities. Handy Mandy Tools. I bought a bag, a large bag of Handy Manny Tools at one of the last consignment sales that I went to this year. It, I ended up having different sizes, different sets, so I divvied them all out. This was the largest one. This actually were the, the tools that went inside of the large musical toolbox. Um, they had issues. Paintware, a few teeth marks, which happens with some of these toys. Um, I had a multiples of the hammer. I just decided to throw it all together, list it. It sold for $15.59. Again, looked vintage, so I grabbed it. Um, no tag, a rhino brown plush, 14 inch, sold for $8 best offer. And I've had it listed a while. Kalu Bear Plume Pink Raspberry Bear. It's just kind of a lovey kind of plush ball. Just kind of was all scrunched together. Sold for $24.25. 
this this may have come from the Goodwill bins. This is Pink Alicious. She's definitely a bolo to be looking out for. I don't find her very often. I don't think there were a whole lot of toys put out. Um, but when I do find her, um, she tends to sell very quickly for me. She was 16 inches. Her hair needed a little bit of help. Um, just was kind of a little messy. I think she had um, piggy tails that were a little off. But she sold for $16.51. Barrington Bear is Barrington Collection is what they call, but I almost always say Barrington Bears, but this was a rabbit. Black and white sold for $9.15. I sold a lot of plush last week. And ugly stuff. I think I bought a bag that had clown figures in it. I ended up making a couple of different lots because there were different types of um, figures, but this was in there. I swear his eyes are missing. I made a note of it. Maybe it had like little, I don't know, Google eyes or whatever. He sold really quickly. This is just a vinyl, four inch, made in Hong Kong, clown, $6.69. It sold. Blaze and the Monster Machine. I pick up all vehicles from that series. This is one of the die cast ones. There are some that sell for really good money, 20, 30, 40 bucks. Um, I've sold a couple of them, but I just don't find them very often. But it's definitely when I'm at the bins, this is the kind of stuff I love looking for and finding. Um, he sold for $8. Nautica Men's Plaid Long Sleeve Polo. It sold for $19.95. I'm sure it's something we probably paid a dollar or less for at an estate sale or yard sale. Wallflower Women's Jeans. Took a best off for a fifteen dollars for them. I think I picked this up at my little favorite estate sale I like to go to. It said it said it was by Glory House H A U S. It's a Christmas ornament, ceramic. It said, "Oh, come, let us adore him." Um, I had to cut off the top up here, but it's just this little wire thing that could be hung on something. It sold very quickly for best offer of twelve dollars. Another multi-quantity order. Um, this person bought this North Pole Trading Company doll dress out um, for like 18-inch dolls. They sold for $8. And then I had an Ann Gettys bear costume that you could put over one of the dolls. Um, and it sold for $8. So $16 for the two items. And then these next two were multi-quantity orders. Also, she bought two and then like Later that day, she bought two more lots. Um, but it was these Fisher Price Little People lounge chairs and the captain chairs. Both of these came from Farm Girl Scavenger Noel's um, gift box that she sent me. And then she also bought these Little People chairs and tables lot and the Sesame Street lunch counter and magazine. Um, the magazine rack or the Sesame Street stuff came from the Highway 127 sale and then the other one was from a lot of little people that I bought at a yard sale earlier this year. I have them in different places so I'm looking at the custom label there and that tells me what lot they came from. Now the reason this sold for this amount was because I found Zoe at the Highway 127 sale. She was still in her package. Not Zoe, Rosita. Um, I paid a dollar for her and then I just happened to have an Ernie that I hadn't listed yet. So I threw him in there. They sold for $13.75. Rosita is, I think, one of the ones that's harder to find, which, you know, I was glad. And that way I also got rid of Ernie that probably would have been, you know, a couple of bucks until I found something to go with him. These next two were from the same buyer, both of them Curious George. This is um, from Animal Toy Network, just a baseball, definitely vintage looking. It sold for $11.91. And then this also is a vintage Curious George and he sold for $9.15. 
Now these I picked up at a thrift store that I've had these a while because I bought three or four of them in different colors. Um, and then it's just taken a while for some of them. This may be the last one. This was the light green. I think I had a purple, a black, an orange, a dark green. I had several of these. Um, this light green one sold for $20. This I picked up at a yard sale. I want to say I paid a dollar or two for it, but it was Wild Republic and it was called a Dolphin Recovery Playset. It had a swimming pool in there and dolphins and, and workers and stuff like that. Um, it took a while to sell. Sold for $26.63. This is Lion Guard. Her name is Fooly. I've not watched that show, so, but I'm assuming she's a girl. Um, this was the larger plush. Now, Ty has a series of them out also that are smaller. I think in lots they do okay, um, but normally I don't... Usually these are bread and butter. For me, $13.75 is a little bit above my bread and butter, so I was thrilled that this sold. These, I picked up a baggie that had three or four of these little small three inch plush, but they're the pinchers. I call them pinchers or huggers where you squeeze their back and their hands open and you could set them on your notebook or use them as a bookmark or, you know, hook them to a backpack. Um, this was a white monkey. Usually I find bears and koala bears, but this was a white monkey and it sold for $8.23. This is from my high bid online estate sale. Um, picked up tons of fast food toys, cereal toys, that type of stuff. I just kind of grabbed all these little spinning top ones that I could find in one of the boxes. I, they've only been listed maybe a month um, and they sold for full asking price $14.95, which tells me that was right after I did an end and sell similar. Corduroy. I pick up lots of them. A lot of them are Kohl's Cares. This one is just a little 7-inch plush by Yo Toy. Um, it sold for $11.91. And then I have a couple of here that are of my higher dollar sales. I think we just showed this recently in a haul. Um, we picked these up. I want to say Robert paid $5 for the set. They were Sears, Roebuck, Neil the Frog, canister sets. Now a lot of the ones that were listed on eBay were I think 10 cans canisters. These were melamine but come to find out Robert didn't pull them all out and there was a major crack in one of them which I showed up close-ups for noted in my description um, but I think it was poorly repaired but I think if somebody took the time and repaired it you would hardly notice. Still sold within a day of listing for $40 best offer. Ty, love Ty. This is a 1988 gray and white cat. Um, it isn't one of the beanies. It's a little bit bigger, the, you know, like 12 inches or so. It sold for $42. I have been sending out like $40 offers, $40 offers, and then somebody sent me a $42 offer, and so of course I took it. I'm about 50-50, probably less than 50-50 on stuff working when I buy these. Vintage, musical, plush. Um, this one I don't even think had a tag. Oh yeah, it does have a tag. Well, I ain't paying attention. But I don't think the tag said who it was, because I don't have a brand down here. Um, tested it. It did work. Sold for $36.75. It's not been listed very long because I just started using this little measuring thing here. Oh, I don't have a thing there. I always, y'all, I'm glad I looked at this. Take pictures of your battery boxes. Always. Always. That way you can't get somebody who says, I received it and it has corroded batteries. I don't ship stuff with batteries in them ever. Anyway. But I was going to look at the tag. Yeah. It just keeps saying imported by, but no company. 
but take pictures of your batteries compartment. All right, Robert picked this up at an estate sale. I want to say we paid two dollars. I already sold the other Dungeons and Dragons book on auction. It had lots of condition issues, so I just started an auction at $29.99, and that one got a bid, and then this one was also, also on auction for $29.99, didn't get a bid. I just decided to list it for $49.95, wasn't going to bother with another auction, and it sold very quickly at the sale price of $45.95. And then my best sale, my best. I had sold one of these. I have four of these Mattel Saucy Expression dolls. Um, I paid 20 bucks each for them, but then I kind of got a, a bundle deal. So it might have taken a dollar or so off of them. But I bought four, sold one, they never paid. I'm getting lots of those these days. And then this one sold. Um, and she left me the nicest feedback. To me, you know, I said that they had light play wear. They were in really good condition, but you could tell that they had been played with. Um, I did have a video showing how they worked. They were a little creepy because you like pump her arm and her face like contorts and her eyes close and her mouth moves. And I have a video on that if you guys want to go look at that. But um, she said the doll was in mint condition. Her favorite toy from her past hundred thirty seven dollars and ninety five cents and I've got three more to go so I was thrilled thrilled all right I think I'm gonna spend a little time trying to process some of the stuff that we um, did a haul video on it's it's everywhere right now Robert showed you guys a picture one day of what it looks like after well during and after when we make these haul videos but I'm trying desperately to get through stuff get it listed get it sold get it sold all right if you haven't got your halloween stuff you better get it listed real quick start thinking thanksgiving and christmas and toys and you know get it listed i need to put a big old sign up here that says if it's not listed it can't sell right so all of my can't sells are everywhere right now. All right. Bye.